Hello everyone, it's the Dutch of Vermeers and welcome to part 8 of Let's Build an Island Villa in Sim 3. So today I'm going to start with the interior of our island villa which I think turns out to be my best house yet. And also I can say um, that this interior will also turn out to be I think maybe my best ones yet just because I think I can say it turns out to be very cool. Um, but um, yeah, you have to judge that yourself of course. But I personally really like it, so I hope you will like it too. Um, so also we make quite much progress in this part, which is kind of what I want. Because I kind of want to end this series pretty soon. Um, so I think after this one, I will still upload one or two parts. Um, and then the series uh, will come to an end. Um, and I must say that I've really enjoyed uh, recording this series. But I'm not gonna start already looking back at this series just because we're still just working on it. So let's just talk about the series actually. Um, so we're gonna do or make the entrance day, the living room and a very cool kitchen. Which I think turned out to look very cool. So um, ev everything actually uh, I built today uh, turned out to look pretty cool. So I hope you will also like it. Um, and in a second when we've done all the uh, walls, which was pretty difficult because of the strange leveling I used in this house. Um, especially at the point I'm working on at the moment. Um, but I've uh, spent much, uh, quite much time in that, but in a second we will start with the uh, entrance I believe. But anyway, um, yeah, this will be... I think after this I will still upload one or two parts, I'm not very sure, but you will just see that in your sub box. Um, but this is not the last part in, um, well, anyway. So, um, yeah, let's see what we're doing right now. We're actually adding windows and also adding the stairs, which was kind of difficult. But in the end, it went pretty quickly, actually, um, because normally it takes much longer in houses which look like these, or like this, actually. Um, but I think it uh, turned out to look pretty cool, uh, still that place of the stairs, I think that was kind of a right place to fit it because it will be kind of between the living room, which will be in the corner, and kind of a study area corner thing. So right now we're doing the entrance of the house, so the main entrance, and I think it turned out to look very cool just because of the wall paintings I used. And also I try to make it kind of as detailed as possible, just like the rest of the house. And I think that turned out to be very cool, but also I tried not to make it detailed in a way that it is um, like not modern. Because in the end it will be quite modern, so I think that will be pretty cool. Um, and I think I quite like that. So um, let's see, we're just uh, still choosing some uh, wall paintings. Nextly, as you might notice, I've sped it up, or yes, I've sped it up uh, the video quite much uh, this time. Uh, just because I recorded for one hour and ten minutes, I think, uh, for this house, and now I'm just doing the record, uh, the voiceover, uh, where I'm looking at what I'm building. But that originally took a ten or no, ten minutes and one hour. And now it takes like 18 minutes, which is better, I think. Um, so yeah, we're adding kind of a closet over there, which I think looks pretty cool. Also adding a carpet or a rug on the um, on the floor. Adding some, uh, yeah, just some chairs over there. Which I actually almost always use, because I will also use those uh, chairs in the living room, but... Yeah, I just really like the color of those, and well, not the color actually, because I can change the color of every um, chair. I mean, the just the shape, the modern look of it. So right now we add kind of an arc in the house um, from where we can just walk in there, kind of unclear. Um, but um, yeah, what are we still going to add here? Some just some detailed stuff, and I think in the end it turns out to look freaking cool. So. Also, I really like the look of this house, actually everything I really like because I think the garden is very cool but also the shape and the roof of this house is pretty epic so I also hope you like it but um, yeah I'm still kind of uh, wondering whether I should make like a video like I do at every end of a let's build in which I kind of show a fly through of this house or whether I should really actually 
make a whole house building video in which I build this house uh, with a time lapse um, in a time lapse way just because I really like the look of this house but um, I don't know if I will uh, be in to just record that time lapse because I think for this house that's gonna take a very long time and I don't want YouTube to become something I have to do and if I don't really like to do that I yeah it might not be a very good idea but I'll still think about that and maybe I just make a fly through and maybe I'll just do a time lapse video um, but you can of course say what you would like to see because I always read the comments so then maybe you can help me uh, making my decision so at the moment we're uh, looking uh, which wall painting I should put there which was pretty difficult because I didn't really know what to put there it was just kind of difficult but in the end I still changed it I keep this for now but in the end I'll change it again I think in like in this video in like five minutes because that I will do that uh, or I will not do that till the end of the um, living room building part actually. So um, what are we doing now? We're just still adding some wall paintings. In a second I will add yes, these bookcases which I think are pretty epic. In the start uh, I saw them I thought I'm never gonna use those but now I think I use them in almost every house just because they give like a very cool modern effect to the house but they are still quite detailed so I really like that. And compared to other um, bookcases, they are just very detailed. So yeah, that's actually why I really like to use them. Um, so yeah, that's actually it. This is a quite a long video actually. It wasn't supposed to be this long, but I recorded for a bit too long. So that's just kind of the thing or the reason why this is a 18 minute video. But yeah, I hope you don't really mind. So we're just adding kind of a music corner over there uh, with a keyboard and a guitar. And then in the second what I will place like a drinking cabinet over there, yes, something like that. Um, by the way, with music actually, you might wonder what I do while building, because usually I don't just build, but usually I watch like uh, YouTube videos or I almost always listen to music while building and also uh, with building this house I listen to music actually and you might wonder what my favorite music is maybe that's a nice topic to just talk about because otherwise this will be kind of a boring commentary uh, video which it might already be but for those of you who are still watching it thanks but um, yeah the music I really like to listen to is actually Coldplay, um, Red the Chili Peppers um, yeah there are quite many bands actually I really like the bands so not for example Lady Gaga or something, I don't really like their music, I don't hate it or something, but it's just not really my style of which I think it's like, I really like to listen to it. But um, I do really like Coldplay, Red the Chili Peppers, uh, Kings of Leon, um, uh, Tudor Cinema Club, um, yeah, those bands actually. Also Manfred and Sons, I don't know if you know them all, but I quite like the, uh, to listen to those uh, bands and actually my iTunes is just full of that music and also I really like to listen to DJs actually so it is kind of a big difference but those are just kind of the two styles I really like to listen to so like DJs so kind of more heavy music um, not too much dubstep actually but I also quite like that so now and then but it shouldn't be too heavy um, but I really like to listen to bands and DJs, so that's actually what I also listen to while recording this video. So at the moment we're building something very cool, um, yeah, in uh, the house, in the living room. And if you would like to see a tutorial on how to build that, um, I can maybe make one because for me it wasn't very difficult, but it was kind of difficult to come up with the ID. Um, and it was something I'd never done before so if you would like to see me just building it at real time and then explaining what I do I can just um, do that so please let me know in the comments if you would like to see that because then I can maybe do it and yeah maybe you like it and I can help some people so um, in the end we'll, we'll also change the rug we sh uh, see 
over here on the floor because this one is just way too big and it didn't really fit. So I had to change it, yes there we go. I do still use the same pattern just because I really like it. Um, and by the way, also I kind of used a gold yellow color for the interior of this house, well actually for the interior of the living room. And I don't really know why, but just I think because that was a color I don't normally use and I could like use um, blue or um, yeah, blue gray something I always use but I decided to go for something different which I think is quite nice it also has kind of a sand color which uh, makes it a little bit more of a beach house and if you haven't noticed yet because you haven't seen the previous part this is like a house on a private island with palm trees all around so that's very cool so then you also need kind of a beach interior which I try to go with so kind of a beach uh, slash a modern interior is what I try to make this house so um, yeah that's actually what we're doing at the moment we're going for 11 minutes right now I believe and here you also see me changing the wall paintings uh, from that um, yeah that stone kind of a uh, wall painting to this um, yeah to this new one uh, which is wood which makes it a little bit more of a beach style house and I think it looks better than the wood so also you can download this house at the end of the series which will be I think in at least or no not at least at least one part and maybe two parts and maybe three videos so two or three videos something like that um, and then you will be able to download this house just because I haven't made the download thing yet so I can't uh, download it for you yet or make it available for download for you yet and also it's just not done yet so I'm not gonna upload a house which is like not finished yet um, so yeah that's actually at the moment we're still adding some details around there and also we will start with a very cool kitchen in a moment but um, I want to keep that kind of as a surprise so you will see that later in this video I think one minute or something something like that I'm not very sure um, so here I also did something I had never done before I just tried to put some um, yeah, materials for each other because I thought it would kind of give a cool effect I'm not sure if it turns out to look very cool but I quite like it um, so I hope you also like it actually also you might notice that uh, or well I don't think you notice it yet when I upload this video but I'm kind of um, trying to um, end all the let's build series um, before the end of January or at least as soon as possible just because I feel people start to get tired of it and I personally also st start to get kind of tired of the let's build I'm doing at the moment and also people yeah they just seem not to be as interested as before which is of course understandable so I won't complain or anything but it's just I always try to uh, make my channel better and better and that seriously YouTube is something that's on my mind actually all day long and I'm always tr uh, thinking about how I could actually increase the videos or well not increase but how to make them better and how to make them more enjoyable so that's something I always think about and also I just noticed that um, the let's build didn't get as many comments views and likes anymore as previously which is of course understandable but I feel like I should actually just stop because from now on I think I will also not do more than two let's builds um, at the same time I think I will most of the time do one let's build at the same time just because actually it's kind of stupid to do three let's builds at the same time that's just I don't know why I ever started doing something like that um, I guess just because I really wanted to do some more let's builds but now I just want to um, yeah stop with some let's builds so I'm going to end the let's build an, an Amsterdam Kennel House uh, series in which I built a street of Amsterdam Kennel Houses it's pretty cool so if you haven't seen that uh, series yet I would highly recommend to actually check that out because even if you only watch one part it is quite cool to see how it turns out to look and also if you don't know why I would actually build that I live in Holland which is where Amsterdam is um, so that's why I decided to build that 
Anyway, um, I also want to um, end this series, um, which will be done pretty soon. And also the Let's Build an Amusement Park. I, at the moment I'm recording this, I don't really know yet um, what I should uh, do with that series. Um, just because, yeah, it's, it starts to get actually hated, which is even worse than not being liked. Because now it gets like 10 likes and 1 dislike per... Uh, on a, a kind of that skill you know so 50 likes and then five dislikes something like that which I'm not very happy with and I think that's just because we don't make enough um, how, they, how do you say that um, increase in how long it takes so I guess um, I will have to end that series in a speed build way just because I think I kind of feel the way I started that series. It should have been a very cool series and I really looked forward to it. But now people just seem to not like it and I think that is just because it went too slow in the start and now people don't watch it anymore and whatever I do, it is too slow. So people don't like it and then start disliking. Um, so I think it was kind of stupid of me. So maybe I can never start that Let's Build series again. Of course in the speed up way because from now on every letter build will be in the speed up way. Um, so um, yeah that's something I would like to tell you. Um, so probably that series will end with like a speed build um, of the theme park just because th I think that would be better. So um, then we come actually because um, I personally think, I'm not very sure but this idea of speeding up the let's build I think it was like my idea or it was somewhere I was one of the first I I don't want to say that I was the first because I believe there were also other let's uh, builders um, already doing this but I probably didn't know them yet um, we do like the commentary after building the house and then speed the building part up um, but then Krill started doing it and also some other a little bit smaller channels starting doing it this way. But I personally think it is quite handy because it just doesn't take as long as it normally does. So from now on I will always do it this way. Um, because that I can really understand that this is much more enjoyable just to see some progress. And also the commentary of me is much better then. Because actually it's kind of strange that I, yeah, I've just talked for 18 minutes just talking about this video, which is, yeah, not in my main language, uh, in my native language. So that's kind of strange, but I think it's also pretty special that I can just already do that at my age of 14. Um, so, yeah. And also I re just really like to talk about the house actually and just see that you like it so anyway that was um this video i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching it and i hope to see you back later